In this video, we're going to edit some point properties. Specifically, we're going to adjust the datum of the points that are in this drawing, and we're going to edit the datum and coordinate properties of the drawing itself. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of extra points in the drawing so that we can readily see the change in elevations when we adjust the datum across a bunch of points in the drawing. So we're going to go ahead and navigate up to the points dropdown and the points creation toolbar. We're going to go ahead and create some points manually. I'm going to do one at this endpoint here. I'm going to call the point raw description GS for ground shot. Uh, and I'm going to give it an elevation of 150. I'm going to create another one down here, and I'm going to also call it GS, which is being populated in my command line. So I'm going to leave it as GS and hit enter, and I'm going to apply a elevation of 100. I'm also going to apply a point to the midpoint of this line, and I'm going to call it GS, and I'm going to give it an elevation of 125 and I'm going to apply another point to the midpoint of this line, and I'm gonna call it GS, and I'm going to give it an elevation of 125. And then I'm gonna hit escape to get out of the point creation and close the point creation toolbar. Uh, you'll now see there are four new points. Uh, you can see them easily when you go to points and choose edit points. You'll see we have five through eight, plus our original 3001 through 3004. And in here, you'll see that the point elevations now are zero for all of our calc points, and we now have assigned elevations for our ground shot points with their respective easting and northing coordinate locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and check yes for this. If you select any of the points uh, in the contextual ribbon bar up here, you'll see the datum selection right here. If you select datum, up in the command line, you will see a command for edit point datum, change in elevation, or reference. If you want to change your datum, you can give it a new datum elevation assignment of positive or negative, and then it will adjust the points based on that point elevation change. So I'm going to go ahead and say, do an elevation change for all points of 50 feet, and I'm going to hit enter. Uh, and so if I go to my points now, and I choose edit, I will see that all of my elevation points have risen by 50 feet, even my calc points have risen by 50 feet. Now, that may or may not be an acceptable solution for you. So if you don't like the fact that your calc points got raised by 50 feet, you could select them and change them all to zero, or you can select your points again, choose datum and choose minus 50, and what you'll see is that all the points dropped back down by 50 feet. And you could adjust each of these points individually by selecting them and adding 50 feet to them. The other thing that you can do while you're inside of this panorama window for editing points is you can adjust your easting and northing uh, of the points that you've selected. Say you had a, a point readout of what a specific location was and what elevation it was, then you could change those eastings and those northings and choose a elevation based on that point readout. Uh, and then it would modify it in the drawing down here. The other thing that Civil 3D can do is it can modify your datum and your coordinates and give you additional information based on an actual real world location. So if you navigate up to the upper left hand corner and drop this down and go to drawing utilities, and you go to drawing settings. Inside of drawing settings, you can see that there is a selection for what your drawing units are and what your imperial to metric conversions are, scales. But down here in zone, our current drawing is set to no datum, no projection because this project file is not in the real world. So it's all theoretical. But if you were working somewhere, say you were working in California, you could scroll down to California USA, California, and select that. And then your available coordinate systems would populate. And you can choose an available coordinate system based on where you're working, NAD 27, NAD 83, uh, Cal zone units. So if we selected California zone one US feet, then it would populate your coordinate system code and your descriptions. And in transformation, it will populate that zone over here and then you can apply elevation 
scaling factors based on your zones. So if I go ahead and hit apply and hit OK, now inside of our points, if I choose edit points, what you'll see populated over here is your real world coordinates for the points based on the zone that you've selected for your drawing. 